Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I'm going to show it to you how to establish LAN to LAN VPN by using L2TP. So L2TP is nothing but layer 2 tunneling protocol. In my previous videos, I have shown to you how to establish the VPN by using IPsec version 1 and version 2 and dynamic as well as PPTP. Now in this video, I'm going to show it to you how to configure L2TP. So let's go and access my HQ router, which is 3910 open the browser and the username is admin and password is admin say ok now in the logout you can make it off then after that go to the VPN and remote access and click on LAN to LAN here then make sure that disable this and say ok now after that click on 6 so here I'm going to configure it to 2962 L2TP okay guys then after that you can select your WAN connection which is terminated on WAN 3 then after that you can select as a dial-in then go down so just play with your dial-in settings so now I'm going to disable IPsec IPsec XAuth and SSL. So I'm going to use L2TP. So you can just select must. Then after that, you can specify the username and password, which is L2TP. Okay, guys, I'm going to say here um, layer 2TP. Okay, layer 2TP. Then after that, I'm going to specify the password, which is P at the rate ssw0rd then after that you just go down make sure that you should have a layer 2 tp and you can specify here the remote networks which is 192.168.200.1 then click on more and you should give 192.168.30.1 and which is slash 24 mask then after that say add then click ok now then after that say close then say ok ok guys now say ok now your VPN server we configured with L2TP now let's go to the VPN client which is my 2962 let's log in with username and password then click OK now and make it off then after that go to the VPN and remote access click on LAN to LAN then here just disable this and say OK so I'm going to click on 6 now I'm going to configure enable this profile I'm going to say 23915 which is L2TP ok guys and this is dial out and make sure that always on and when one is fine which is connected directly to the internet and you just say here l2tp and make sure that must and specify the server ip now you need to specify here the username and password has to be matched so i'm going to say layer 2 tp okay guys now i'm going to specify the password that's it guys you no need to do any other things here then after that go down then specify your networks which is 192.168.100.1 then you need to specify 192.168.20.1 which is slash 24 then say add click ok now then after that say close then say ok pre-shade key cannot be empty yeah this is what I want to show to you guys yeah now you see here appreciate key you need to give there yeah so here something i just want to show it to you guys the crazy stuff now you see here enter the password okay i just specify there then after that it's not empty okay now let's click ok now okay guys so this tunnel is not going to come up what's the reason because make sure that in other side we didn't configure the pre-shade key 
just go and do that where just click on this 3910 sign and if you see here actually we selected as a dial in and here whenever you selected as a dial in did you notice one thing guys I am not able to specify the appreciate key here did you notice that so in that scenario because whenever you enable this then you can able to specify the appreciate key okay guys but the problem is here you just go here ipsec general setup okay guys then here you can specify the appreciate key yeah if you are using xr use the same appreciate key no problem then after that say okay say okay now now go back again your tunnel will be comes back now yeah sorry you just go to the hq see the tunnel is quickly is come back guys this is what i'm trying to show it to you yeah so it's required a appreciate key in case if you don't get a chance to provide the appreciate key in the hq and go here ipsec general setup and specify that the appreciate key then automatically the tunnel is going to comes back now you can able to see here the tunnel is back yeah this is what how you are going to establish the l2tp and if you want to check the routing table go to the diagnostics and click on the routing table you can able to see it here there is see here and check here in 2962 guys yeah i just want to show it to you diagnostics and click on the routing table then you can able to see here i can able to reach 100 okay guys which is this yeah and i can able to reach which is 20 you can able to see that are you understand everybody so this is what how it's defined the static routes so this is what how you are able to communicate yeah thank you for watching guys Thank you for watching. For sales, please send us an email sales at datawise.com. See you in the next video.